Hi guys, Happy New Year. Um, welcome to 2016. Okay, I'm being weird. Just wanted to throw out a few disclaimers. This liquid lipstick crumbles a lot, so there might be a few crumbles in my teeth and I might not know about it. Second of all, my nails are awful. I'm sorry, I'm getting them done soon. Third of all, my eyebrows weren't working for me today, so one might be higher than the other. They just weren't being symmetrical. And there was one more. There was one more. I can't remember. But yeah, if you see anything that's not right in this video, I'm sorry, I got really, I got ready really quickly. And I'm not even going anywhere, I just literally just got ready to film, so. Excuse me, okay? Now onto the video. Okay, so this video is gonna be a haul video. It's mostly makeup, because I'm a hoarder when it comes to makeup. Okay, so the first thing I got was another, ugh, Zoeva, um, tote bag. It's literally, it's open, so. It's literally a bag. Oh, I, I knew I was going to do that. I knew it's... <laughs> yeah, so it's literally a bag where I store my makeup. This is my third one. And I'm going to try and open it to show you the compartments without everything falling out. Because I'm just silly like that. It has quite a few compartments. So this bit... I, got a, I don't even know what I'm showing you. But this is where I keep my... Uh, blush palette, my eyeshadow, my lip stuff, and this bit in the middle, I keep my liquid lipsticks, my eyelashes, and this bit, I keep my powders and some like primers, fix plus and removers and stuff. So it's really handy for like on the go makeup, it's good for travel, it's good for freelance makeup artists and stuff like that. I just needed another one because honestly, I've got so much makeup now, I actually don't even have space for it anymore. This is my third Zoeva bag and I feel like I still need more space. So I might get the I might get the MAC tote bag because my makeup collection is like, it's actually excessive now. Second thing I got from, where did I get this from? I think I got these things from Cult Beauty are the Morphe M310 brush. It's basically a fan brush. I actually didn't know I ordered two. I thought I ordered one. And when I got the parcel, I was like, haha, they gave me two by accident. But then I looked at the receipt and I actually accidentally ordered two. I paid for the other one. So silly. But I can just put the other one in my um in my freelance brush belt. It's literally just a nice fan brush that I'm gonna use a dirty one. I use this one today that um I use for highlighting. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I, I like it. I think I like it. It does a good job. I want to get the M500 brush, which is like a tapered brush. It looks exactly like the MAC brush. It, it's basically a tapered, a tapered brush for highlighting. I want to get that one because um, my MAC one, I don't like using it on myself because I use it on other people. So I want to get something similar for myself, but just more for you because, just because. <laughs> Okay, so the third thing I got is the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX12. This. I got this from, also from Cult Beauty. Yeah. Um, basically, I wanted to get the SX12 because SX11 is too light and SX13 is too warm. It's like, it looks like an NW45 and I want it to be more like an NC45. Yeah, so I ordered the SX12. I didn't actually try it out. Um, it looks like this. And I don't actually like the way it looks. It looks like, honestly, it looks like mustard. It looks dis it looks disgusting to me. It's it's close to NC45, but it has more of like a yellow, it's too yellow. And I don't like that. And I feel like their colors, their colors um, are way off. Like the SX11 is very light and it's an N it looks like an NC42. The SX12 um, looks like an NC45 with way too much yellow in it. It looks like mustardy. And then the 13 looks like an NW45. So I don't understand. Like, they don't have any, like, tones to their shade ranges. Like, it just goes from, like, one tone to the other. One tone to the other. It's like, can you just stick to the tone, please? So, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but... Because this is not cheap, okay? Um, but I'm just going to put it in my kit and maybe mix it. I tried... I think I used it on my forehead today, and I was just like, it's a good thing I used it on my forehead alone, because I, if I put that thing under my eye... I don't even know how I look at this video. It, just, it was just looking a mess. I do like the formula of this and I like the way it goes on. I just wish I could find my perfect highlight shade. But I, did, I, I went to Space and K. Space and K is where like they sell like Kevin Aquan, Becca, 
um, our teeth brushes, all that kind of stuff. I went to the one in Covent Garden and I, tried, I looked at it, I looked at SX12 like after I ordered it and I was like, oh, this is not what I wanted. But next time I'm going to go there and actually like try out all the shades so I can pick what I actually want um, and buy it there so I don't get the wrong thing again. You know, because this is the third time, it's getting annoying now. But anyway, I got that. And then also from um, Cult Beauty, I got another beauty blender. It's just a regular beauty blender sponge. Um, this is actually not for myself, it's for my kit. Because I have two for myself. I have the black ones for myself and I've got the pink one just so I know, like, you know, what's not mine. <laughs> so yeah, this is for my kit. I'll probably get another, like, three because you can never have too many. You can never have too many beauty blenders, so yeah. And then I got some lashes. I went ham on lashes because I just feel like mink lashes is just the way forward. And I have to have as many as possible. So, and the thing about mink lashes is a lot of the good brands well at the time were in America and I just I couldn't justify spending 25 pound of eyelashes and then another 25 pound to ship one pair of eyelashes so spending 50 pounds for one pair of eyelashes I was like no I can't justify it so I found a really good um, eyelash brand brand company from the UK they're called Demure Lashes and I also heard of Coco Lashes from Ashley D Beauty and I was like I must I must I must get them so I got them all or well, not all of them Actually, I think I got all of the Demure Lashes, all of the, um, I got a collection from the Demure Lashes and then I got two Coco Lashes. So, this is what the Demure Lashes, is that what they're called? Yeah, Demure Lashes packaging looks like. I'm sorry, I'm getting a new camera so it doesn't autofocus right now, but, yeah. Okay, so this, I got five, um, styles and this one is called Unapologetic. God, everybody know you guys know by now that I really like the wispy style, and they're just all so wispy and freaking beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait to wear them all. So that's unapologetic. Then I got um, wrist taker. These are really nice. So nice. Ooh. Then I got. A door. Oh my god, this was the reason why I had to get lashes from the um Demure lashes because a door drew me. So this is a door, it's really nice, really long, really tapered, um, really wispy, and just like really like oh, fluttery. I just love them. But oh god, I'm not being so silly. But um these are a door, so nice. These ones are called Dress to Kill. These ones look like the I can't remember what brand it is, but they're really expensive. I wanted to get them at one point. But they look exactly like them. When I find out, I'll link it, I'll annotate it in the video, but they look exactly like these. And then, last pair are called Dangerous. And then they also give you a complimentary um, eyelash glue. It's called the Demure Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. It looks like this. And I actually tried it on today with the lashes I got on, and they work, it worked really good. This glue is actually really good, so I'm going to start using it. For the Coco Lashes, I've got one pair on today. I've got Goddess, which looks like this. I hope you can see it. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to style lashes, um, but they look like this. They're really wispy and really like fanned out. Um, I like them. They look really good on Ashley. They look good on her, honey. I guess to cut them. Um, and then I got the pear Bella, which look like this. So they look really thin in the front and then more wispy and fuller on the outside, which are really nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with that because I feel like everybody just needs, everyone needs mink lashes in their life. Then I got some liquid lipsticks I actually went crazy because when I was buying them it was it was actually new Christmas Eve and um, I knew the collection the matte collection were coming out but I just honestly couldn't wait it was the collection came out on the 31st of December and I couldn't wait I don't know what was in my body something was itching me that day I had to buy liquid lipsticks so then I was watching YouTube just watching like different tutorials and stuff and I came across this girl called makeup by jar when I tell you her videos Anyway, I'll, I'll link her, her channel in the description box. Her videos are like her makeup style is literally like how I like to do my makeup. And she put on this liquid lipstick called Vampire, and I was like, I have to get that. So it was by LA Splash. So it looks like this. This is Vampire. This is what I have on today. I have been looking for this color everywhere. And this is exactly it. And when I tell you the happiness and the joy that came to me when I swatched this on my hand, I literally got it today. Oh, just look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. So yeah, I love, love this colour. The only thing I don't like about this, it smells like paint. I'm not too fond of that. It literally smells... Yeah, I don't like the smell of it. But um, 
I like the formula because it goes on really well. It dries matte really quickly. Um, I just love it. It's just uh, it's everything. But to put it on, I use my Mac 231 brush, which looks like this. Um, I use the the applicator to put like the majority on, and for like the detail parts, I use the Mac brush just to get right in the keeper's bow and like down here, and down here. So yeah, this brush is really good for that. The other colors I got are. Including Vamp, I got this one is called Untamed. I could have done without some of these colours, but I was just really excited that, that day, like I said. So this one is called Untamed. Looks like okay, I put that way too close together. <laughs> it's this one here. I can't pronounce the name of this colour, but it's like a deep purple. Looks like that. It looks like night moth all over. Poison Apple, which is just like a nice red. Actually, it's more. It's like a, it's like a pinky red. No, is it true red? Don't know if it's my eyes. Anyway, it looks like this. Then I got a really nice like nudie pink. It's called Latte Confession. Mm, how can I swatch this? Yeah. Looks like that. Then I got Rose Garden, which I don't know why I got this. Honestly, it's not. It's not my type of colour. I think I was I was on crack that day. This is just that pink. It's actually stupid. And then I got this another stupid colour which is called Ghoulish. I think. It's like a greyish I don't know. It looks like stone but stone lipstick but a lot lighter. It has like a lilac undertone. Oh the smell of this is awful. Anyway this is what it looks like. Stupid. Okay and then Ooh, something's happened to the setup. Oh well. And then last but not least, I got some MAC liquid lipsticks, which honestly, I didn't need them. I don't know who begged me. I don't know what I was... Seriously, I was going through some things. I just wanted to spend. I was doing Audrey Kokoro. I didn't need these. I got six. Um, just to say I have them. I'm not even going to lie. I just, I just got them because I wanted to say I have them. And I knew they were going to sell out really quickly, especially the most popular ones, which are High Drama, this one. Um, oh Lady, this one, and um, Fashion Legacy, this one. Also, Dance With Me is also a popular one, red. Um, but I knew they were going to sell out really quickly, but the funny thing is they're permanent, so there was, there was no need for me to rush out and get them. I was literally the first person in the store, because I wasn't working that day, and I actually travelled. <laughs> I travelled like a woman to go get these. Anyway, I could use them, so it's fine. Um, so... They look like this. Honestly, I feel like these would have looked so much better in the Vamplify packaging. I'll show you the Vamplify packaging, which is a limited edition lip gloss um, set from MAC, which looks like this. It just looks so much more dainty. Like, and obviously, because the, the end as well, like, it just looks so much more like, you know, liquid lipsticky. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, these lip glosses smell so good. Oh my God. Anyway. Anyway, so this one is High Drama. I'll swatch it on this hand. It's going to be so hard because I'm left-handed. I'm so awkward. But, okay. Let me do it here. High Drama looks like this. It's very similar to what I have on. It's very similar to the Vampire. But this is more on the purpley side. It's not... It doesn't have as much red as I hoped for. This one is, that I got was O Lady. Which kind of looks like... It's plummy. It kind of looks... It kind of looks like Rebel. No, not Rebel. It looks like Rebel with a tiny bit of um, flat fabulous. It looks like that. That's O Lady. Then I got Dance With Me, which is a red with a tint of purple in it. Looks like a. No, it doesn't look like a plum. It looks more ready than plummy, but it has a tint of purple in it. That is Dance With Me. Then I got Feel So Grand, which is a true red. Looks like Ruby Woo. And these smell really good. That's what I like about them. They smell like cupcakes. This is Feel So Grand. Then I got Fashion Legacy, which is an orangey red. 
a lot of people won't really be able to see the difference between Feel So Grand and Fashion Legacy, but if you, if you know makeup, you know. Okay, this is more of an orangey red. Which looks like this. And then I got Back in Vogue, which is the only nude that can suit my skin tone. You might be like, oh, that's a bit light, but the rest of them are way too light. Um, I have to mix it with like a liner. God, I can't even open this. Okay, there we go. It's like a peachy nude. This is the only one that's going to work for dark skin, in my opinion. The rest is too light. And this is Back in Vogue. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a liquid lipstick swatch video, like swatch on my lips. I'm going to say a prayer to my lips before I put them on, because that day is going to be horrific. Because when these go on, honey, it's so hard to take them off and not have like an overcast of the colour. So I'm going to try and get that video out as soon as I can, but bear with me. And I think that's everything. Oh, one more thing actually. I don't know, this was another Oju Kokoro item. I don't know who told me to come and get this, but I saw this on Nikki Tutorials and I was like, oh, I have to get the melted lipsticks, I have to get the melted lipsticks. Don't fall for the hype. Don't fall for the hype. It's just a waste of money. It was 19 pounds, you know, 19 whole pounds. I got it from Debenhams and it's a Too Faced melted lipstick and I got it in the shade Melted Nude. This is the only colour that I thought would be good for my skin tone, but it's not. It's really not. It's too light. They smell delicious though. It's just this one here. It smells delicious, it's just that I have to find a way to wear it, I must, it's 19 pounds, I must find a way to wear it, but um, it's too light. I think I need to put like chestnut all over my lips first and then put this on, but um, I like the formula though. It doesn't dry matte, it's just um, a long wear, li no not liquid lipstick, it's a long wear liquid lipstick but it doesn't dry matte. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been getting a lot of other different things but I don't want to come here with like a bunch of stuff to show you it's just like every time I get stuff I don't think to do haul videos but I will now because I buy a lot of makeup and I need help <laughs> I'm so sorry this was so long I hope you guys enjoyed I hope I wasn't being too weird and annoying I don't know what's with me today I really don't um but anyway I'm all over the place <laughs> oh god I even have some freaking stuff in my teeth oh the lipsticks are crumbled in my teeth I can't get it out sorry guys ignore that but that's everything if you can tell i like purples and reds and then nudes thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed hopefully my next video will be a liquid lipstick swatch video